So, Bill, you're a fifth-year senior majoring in anthropology. Yep, fifth-year senior. So you had a couple of extra spots to take kind of whatever you wanted this year? Exactly. Why drawing? You know, drawing is something that I think a lot of people take for granted. Drawing, it's, it's just teaching you a way to see things and to translate what you see into an image. Let's put some active learning skills to the test. Does that oh, okay. sound all right? Sure. You want to... Uh, Teach me a little bit about drawing, and we'll do a little drawing demonstration here. Sure. Uh, yeah, we got some charcoal, so you're gonna get uh, your hands a little dirty here. And but can you guys smell this on this end, David? It's got a rich uh, fragrance. You're kind of a beginner learning to draw. Um, mm -hmm. As you've been doing that, what have been the kind of methods or the skills that have been most helpful for you at developing this new skill? Really, uh, it just comes down to practice. Practice, 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 and you have to get your fundamentals down. It's okay. like anything. You know, what is a line and what is a characteristic of a line and what what is contrast, what is value? You know, you can't just jump in and, and start, you know, trying to, you know, draw like Picasso. The true improvement comes as, as an artist is learning how to take criticism and to give criticism huh. um, to other people's work, and then you can apply that you know, framework to criticizing your own work. It's, it's tougher than you would think. I feel like I'm learning more about my tool just by having used it, right? Like yeah. I've got sharp edges. Having this experience where you've really practiced a lot of the things that you've been learning, and you have a, a teacher that sounds like is facilitating this conversation, mm -hmm. are there things that you think that you liked about this class that you wish could be carried over to other classes that you've taken? Typical undergraduate class, mainly just consisted of the professor getting up on, on the stage or the podium and, you know, variations on, on a PowerPoint. So here, here's the question I have. It sounds like in some ways this drawing class is different from that lecture model, where mm -hmm. there's not just the instructor delivering content and you writing it down. Right. What are they doing in this active drawing class to move people along? Are they just saying, practice drawing for the next hour? Or, they, or what are they doing that helps you develop no, skills? There is generally kind of a theme for the week. Basic introduction shows some examples of work that really employs what we're going after that week. After that, like for, for negative space, we had a, a huge mass of stools that were all stacked on top of each other in crazy ways because you can see through them. With drawing, it, it's necessarily active. You know, you can't expect to read about it and call yourself an artist. Nice. If it <laughs> sort of looks like a potato. I feel like when you first handed me this tool, I had a vague idea of how I might use it, but it was by applying it to the paper. The more that right. I did it, the more confident. Learning art isn't finding the online course or watching the training video. It's going to be like getting some ideas in place and then doing them until I can do them better.